Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you three easy ways to use bright eye makeup. So we're going to be doing the bright inner corner, which I have on right now. We're also going to be doing the all over lid shade, as well as just a bright wing liner. Very simple ways of doing it. These aren't super in depth. I do think that can be something that puts some people off using bright colors is because when it comes to uh, blending them together you can get a little bit muddy. So a lot of the time I find just using one shade can make a lot of impact. It's much quicker, much easier and um, still looks really beautiful. I am going to be only using this one palette for this which is the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette. It's beautiful. I will go ahead and link that down below for you as well as any other things that might be relevant. If you do enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so for this first look, I'm going to be doing a bright inner corner. Now, the color I'm going to use is Party Drip from the palette, a very bright pink. You could do this with any color, of course. Now, depending on your eye shape, your preferences, you might want to kind of do a little blown out shape the whole way around here. You might want to focus it just on the upper corner here. You might just want to put it down below. I really think it's something that is kind of fun to just play around with, see what suits you, see what you prefer. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of a blown out all over the place thing. So taking Party Drip, I'm pretty much just going to stamp it on the inner corner and start blending out a little. So most of the color is getting focused right around here, again like a circle because I've just stamped the color on and then I'm blending it a little bit up towards the crease I guess up here and a little bit of the way along the lower lash line. I just think that's kind of the easiest way of doing it. So because I want to keep these to be very simple options, I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara. You could do a uh, black wing liner with this, which looks beautiful. You could add lashes if you want to, but I just want to show you like the extremely basic ways of using color in your eye makeup. So let's begin. So I'm just going to touch up that shape a little bit. Now I've got the rest of my eye makeup done. Just taking a clean fluffy brush and blend that out a little more. So like I said, you could add fake lashes, eyeliner. There's a lot of different ways you can uh, do this look. Um, but another way I wanted to show you was to add a highlight on top. A lot of us are very uh, comfortable with adding like an inner corner highlight. So if you're not sure about using a matte color, you could always go on top with a highlight shade in a similar color. So I'm going to be using the Colored Rain Highlighter in Cutie Pie. I actually love wearing this uh, as a cheek topper too. And I'm just going to take it on that fluffy brush just kind of feather over that pink which is gonna tone it down a little just make it nice and luminous so hopefully you can see the difference there we have the highlighted side and then the regular matte side I'm gonna go ahead and make the match and just to kind of tie that in with the rest of the face a bit I'm gonna use that as a highlight slash blush topper. So there you have it, that is the bright inner corner. You can do it matte, you can do it shimmery, you can use any colors. I do also think the yellow would be a really fun way to do it. Um, or even like one of the bright oranges. Or the lilac, you know, they're all great options. Next up, let's do the all over lid shade. Very, very simple, high impact. Let's do it. This one is so simple. All I'm doing is applying a little bit of my bronzer to the crease and lower lash line. Then just with kind of like a flat shader brush, I'm gonna take that yellow color, which is Lemon Drop. I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. Now often I think you should ignore um, the rules about which colors suit which eye color, um, but I do think that certain colors are just very complementary to certain eye shades. So I love how um, yellow eyeshadow looks on blue eyes, or even my kind of gray, green, blue eyes. 
nobody can tell me what color they are. Um, I love how it looks on this, but obviously it also looks beautiful on brown eyes, hazel eyes. Just think different colors do different things for you. I don't think you should necessarily stick to the rules though. They're meant to be broken. Some people might prefer to do this as more of a cut crease where you've actually carved out like a really definite shape for that um, lid color to go. But I think if you're using kind of intense enough pigments, you really don't necessarily need to, um, especially if you're a little lazy like I am. Uh, it just helps you keep it a little bit more simple because this is just one color, whatever your bronzer is, and I just love how it looks. And I'm just dipping back into the bronzer I'm gonna kind of reinforce that crease, tidy up any edges. Again, lots of variations you can do with this. Fake lashes, wing liner. You could put a gold shimmer shade over the yellow and make it super impactful. Is that a word? Uh, it is now. But I'm just gonna go in again, like the previous look, just with my mascara, just to show you how easy it can be to still get a nice uh, bright eye makeup look. Oh, and I especially love a yellow eyeshadow with a pinkier lip. I don't know what it is about the combo, it just really does it for me. As always, if I've ever made any mascara mistakes, I just take a Q-tip, I actually let it dry a bit first, and then I will kind of whisk it away. If you had done a black wing liner on this, you wouldn't even necessarily see the mascara mistakes. Win-win. I think what I love so much about this yellow in particular is it's much more of a kind of egg yolk -y yellow versus a more acidic yellow or a more green tone yellow. This one is just like sunshine. So, mm. now again, you can leave it like this or you can take just a little bit of whatever your highlighter is, like your facial highlighter or even a different color highlight if you were feeling bold. Pop a little bit on the inner corner down here. Maybe a little under the brow. So again, look number two, the all over lid shade, just a bronzer or transition shade of your choice in the crease. You could also just do it with the yellow and use that as the kind of transition and the lid shade as well. Completely up to you. Love this with a wing liner. I love it with lashes too, but also I just like it as is. The next look I'm going to show you is the just plain simple bold wing liner so let's move on to that one. Okay third and final look we're going to start in the exact same way as the previous one with a little bit of bronzer in the crease and if anything sometimes I just do this to kind of set the crease area where I've put a bit of concealer on when I'm doing my base makeup just to stop it creasing. Now speaking of uh, picking colors for your eye color, I love to do green because I often think it kind of gives like a monotone look with my eye color, which changes. So I think what I might do is maybe dip between Level Up and Squad. Maybe I'll do Squad towards the outer corner and Level Up on the inner corner. You could just do one color for this. Um, I just can't decide. Let's take Squad. And I'm just stamping that on the tip of an angled liner brush. And again, I'm gonna stamp it on the eye. So I kind of wanna follow the shape of my lower lash line. Stamp it right there. Okay, let's do the other side. And then we just start making a little wing. Now you know I love to give you guys variations for how you can change things up. You can keep this kind of a more graphic um, wing that might be very crisp or if you find it easier go for something a bit smokier because it can often be a little bit more forgiving if you haven't got it like exactly symmetrical. I mean you never will but you know what I mean. 
So then I'm going to use the same brush and just dip into a level up, which is that brighter green. And let's just kind of feather that into the inner corner. Mm, I love these colors. This would also be a fun one to do with any of the blues or even the purples, maybe the oranges, or you could just pick one shade to do this with. But I do think just a classic wing liner is a really good way to add in a little bit of color um, in a fairly classic style, but you can make it fun by changing the shade. Mascara. Okay. All right, just the same as that previous look, I'm taking a little bit of highlighter. I think especially if you're doing a bright matte shade, it's kind of nice just to add a little bit of highlight elsewhere. All right, so that is look number three, just a wing liner, very simple. Again, you can pick any color you want in any of these looks, change it up, add lashes, add liner. I just wanted to give you guys some fun, simple ways to try out some new things. So those were my three easy, bright eye makeup looks. Again, no blending really involved, because I do think that is where it kind of gets hard, is that things can get a little muddy. Personally, I think less blending is helpful when it comes to um, mixing a lot of bright colors together. Uh, so maybe I'll do a follow-up video uh, on kind of like blending a lot of different bright colors in one eye makeup look because I do think it is very different to using just kind of neutral shades. But anyway, I do hope this was helpful uh, in giving you some ideas of very simple ways to add a little pop of color into your eye makeup. Uh, again, I did use that Colored Rain palette, which I've been loving. Super simple, easy to use. The colors perform well, easy to blend. So I do think this would be a really complimentary palette to pick up if you have a lot of neutral ones and you've been wanting to dabble in some color. So again, I will have this link down below if you are interested in picking it up. Um, like I said, if you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. All of my social media will be on the end screen to come. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.